Previously on Drake Paragon. Let's look at the weather. This is goodbye to La Calerbos. Why is your chip not going out? We're making 5.4 knots. You've really got to know how to reef this like the back of your hand. The wind is not great. Yeah, that looks bad. We're making our final approach into Vesmana. Hello, today is Sunday the 20th and it's now quarter past one in the afternoon. And here's the update. <laughs> we came in just a few days ago and tied up at the pier. And at that time there were no floating docks in the harbor. But then as soon as we got here, the big crane came by and started dropping the floating docks into the harbor. And then they arranged them all. And then all the power boats came in and took their assigned spaces. They also built a huge tent on the pier for the bands to play in. Today is Saturday uh, and the party goes Friday, Saturday and Sunday a little bit, but Saturday is definitely the biggest day. Today we have the boat parade. All of the boats are gonna go out into the Smana Sun, do a little parade thing and then come back and then the party officially starts. Everybody starts drinking. <laughs> Another thing, we've got, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred camper vans that also came to Vesmana from all over the Faroe Islands. And they put their camper vans down. Most of them have big tents that come out of the side. It's like this camper van city. We have been invited to go aboard one of the bigger boats in the parade. It's actually a boat from Vesmana. It's the Bird Cliff tour boat. I made a video aboard that boat when it took us out to the bird clips before. You can check that out. It's a nice boat. So we're going to go on that boat, do the parade thing with all the other boats, come back, and then the party starts. That house right up there belongs to, or used to belong to our good friend. It's like a million years old and, uh, and derelict. Uh, she put it up for sale. And Mo and I love Pharaoh so much, we're actually almost planning to buy that and turn it into our little tiny house in Vesmana. But, and somebody swooped in and bought it before we could. I think it's the only time that we've ever considered actually buying something on land. <sighs> Just keep our connection to Pharaoh. Show you the tent and the bands and the Pharaoh soup in the tent and then the grilled salmon feast on the docks and then <clears throat> and I can show you all that <clears throat> but really what makes the boat festival the boat festival is what happens beyond all of that everybody goes to everybody else's boats or campers or, or even homes on shore hangs out has a beer or two and then goes to the next boat or camper or home on shore and does, does it again. And this just continues until like six in the morning. And it's an incredible thing unlike anything I've ever seen anywhere else in my life. It happens every year, big party. Not really a thing for foreigners. It's a, it's a Faroese event. It's not something you can come here to, to do as a tourist unless you have some sort of connection with people, local people here, I guess. Uh, and, and we do. <laughs> That's why uh, our boat is so comfortable all nestled in here. We are home. Oh, I see Mo. And it looks like she got the beer. So we arrived a little bit early, but that's the boat that we're gonna be taking out today. It's quite large. And they also have another one that also takes people out to the bird cliffs. And right over there, that's the Vesmana Museum. And also where you can buy tickets to get on the tour boat to go out to the bird cliffs. We're just gonna get out of the rain for a little bit while we wait for uh, people to board the boat. We're gonna go to the gift shop in the museum. 
a tree. These are Farrowy's sheep skins. Very nice. Oh, 1,200 kroners. Really nice ones. They are super soft, long hair, just beautiful. This is a traditional Faroese sweater with the buttons on the collar there. That one's only got two, but the ones I usually see have four uh, or five like this. This is a more common one with the shiny buttons on the collar. Just like what I've got going on here. Here we go. I don't know if we're allowed on yet, but we can go see. <coughs> Hi, Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. We just had a nice little chat with the captain, and he said, come aboard. Come aboard. Wow, you remember this? I do. The last time we took this boat, we uh, went to the bird place. We're honored to have been invited to go out on the parade aboard this boat. Okay, we're on the lower level deck. Kind of looks like an airplane. We've got a nice little galley up here. Oh, um, a little induction stove and sink and coffee maker. Oh. We are getting underway. Do you want to go outside or not? Not in the rain, no. I just kind of want to sit down for a minute. We are coming over here to pick up more people. The salmon grill thing is in there tonight. Yeah, all of these boats are gonna round it up and we're gonna go out into the harbor together. Some boats have left already. has already started but this really kicks it off and it's nice everyone gets on boats They're talking and drinking and uh, it's quite lovely once the boats come back in the captains can all kind of start drinking too yeah. because they don't they don't get to while while all this is going on coming out and being out here it's what it's the getting back in with 115 other boats, like zipping around and trying to make that dock. No. no.
is that not the coolest thing? It happens every year in Vesmana and there are people who never miss it. Every year they gotta do the best one. We just dropped a whole bunch of people off uh, at one end of the harbor. Now we're going to right by the harp master's office. side and I can't believe we're gonna even fit. Are they gonna move that? No, we're, we must be parking here. He's not gonna go on the other side of that rib, is he? just got back from the boat parade we came back to Paragon Views bathroom and we are now headed to the tent to have the soup and beer and bread and maybe check out some music and then uh, and then the party really gets started we're low yeah but we're not hitting ground At least we're not being blown onto the pier. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, hot tube, hot tube, hot tube, hot tube. First rainy boat festival. Usually the I think so. Usually the weather's a lot nicer. Oh my, oh wait, there's beer too? 
Jesus. I think that's, oh my God. That's, I don't know what that is. That's, hal uh, is that that's halibut. That's halibut. Yeah. yeah, those are halibut steaks. setting up a stern line over there and we won't be able to get out because our mast won't fit under it. We are grounded. I'm concerned because there's so much tidal range here. This could be very bad. We'll see. When the tide goes down, we'll see what happens.